Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is an R18 bagger, and this is the OEM bagger windscreen. I wanted a bit more wind protection, so I ordered a 19 inch upgraded windscreen from 7 Jurok. Um, you're going to grab a T25 and you're going to remove those six screws. Be careful, it will fall off when you remove. So you can pause to read this if you need to. So have a friend hold it as you remove these, uh, or else you'll. Uh, your windscreen will fall to the ground and these are quite expensive. Now um, you're going to move those grommets and all those pieces and hardware over to your 7 Jurok windscreen. We can see now how the size difference is on top of that one. So uh, it's only an inch taller, two inches taller, but it's all in the um, the way it angles up and out. That should direct the wind off. While you're off you can go and clean up your leather here and clean things up and make it look all nice and shiny again if you want to. That's real leather. Um, grab your all of your hardware here and move it over to the new windscreen. Just mimic exactly how it was on OEM style. Um, the transcontinental windscreen is, I think, five hundred dollars. Uh, this windscreen is two hundred. So uh, it's not OEM, but it is uh, as close as possible for less than half the cost. So uh, even if it's not perfect, I will still like it more than spending five hundred dollars on a BMW windscreen. All those are moved over now, and we can start hooking this up. Um, when you tighten these down, do not over torque them. You know, give it to resistance, and then turn it eighth or a quarter turn after that. Each of these bolts. Uh, here's your view from the cockpit, and um, definitely taking some style points away from the bagger look. But um, you can see just how much space there is. I'm now going to take you um, on a kind of first-person video and uh, give you a, a lay of the land. There's the OEM one just below it. Big difference. So here's the final version. I'll put a picture here that compares the old with the new. So I have pictures of both. But you can see how this windscreen doesn't cut straight up here. It comes up higher. So actually the height wise, the default windscreen is about to here, but then it cuts down sharply to here. And so this one, not only does this come up off here more, as you can see the easy pass fits down here versus up here before, so it, there's more depth between the leather and the uh, screen. But also you have a wider opening here. Your whole finger could go in there. Uh, this sits a little bit higher. And then you see the actual height of it up there. So instead of being there, it's, or here, it goes basically straight across. Pretty nice. And I think this is the 20 inch version, 21 inch maybe. But I feel absolutely no air on my head unless I stand, which is makes sense, right? Let's do a kind of full walk around here, people. Uh, OEM fit, perfect fit. Move your bolts and grommets over. Good price too. Thanks for watching.